hello guys today I'm going to show you how to render speed tree with animal for Maya uh, in here this is the scene that I have already rendered but I can only show you like 20 frame only uh, in nuke so this is the default speed tree that I uh, exported from speed tree into Maya and then I render everything in animal or not everything this uh, you see this pine here on the screen right is rendered with V-Ray and this one is rendered with Anno. You can see the clarity difference between the two. I'm not biased to any particular thing. The V-Ray user would love this one. I myself would also love this one because it, it feels good. However, I also want to try Anno and Anno is faster so not a whole lot faster but uh, it is a kind of bust of the industry right now with deep uh, compositing and also Anno so a lot of people are trying to use that and also this is just look at the uh, normal map this is a direct normal map from uh, a speed tree that I just applied to the bar map and using the tanking space normal this is what V-Ray gears and this is what uh, Anno gears just in case the V-Ray user would say a bad thing about what I'm saying try it yourself I don't tweak any setting at all it's just a direct textures and everything from speed tree put it, it uh, plug it into each uh, channel and then I render it out that way Okay, however, uh, if you look closely, uh, it's depend on what you like. Uh, I feel good with V-Ray, but I also uh, love this as well. Both give a very good transparency uh, texture. Uh, the difference between uh, the two is that, or let's say the three, Mentore and V-Ray, is that you can just plug thing in and then you plug in the cutout map. The reason that I'm saying the cutout map because uh, Speed 3, Speed 3 just like any other uh, tree software it has a lot of leaf a lot of brands where they're using card and also the cutout map or the opacity map so the opacity map in anal is kind of nightmare if you do not set it correctly but for mental ray and v-ray it's okay you can just plug it into the transparency channel and then you render it out straight away but for for anal if you do that the old way your render time will be higher will be longer even though you set the AA sample to 1 so to show you that I show you the, the Maya scene file that I have already set up this is the speed tree that I exported from speed tree with all the textures and everything it is one tree that I duplicated along all the way through this kind of round curve around ball sorry so normally when uh, a speed tree is exported out uh, speed tree has a, a billion engine to support Monterey directly so you can just plug and uh, render with Monterey however if you actually want to render with uh, V-Ray or other software you need to you see select like each one of these apply a new material onto it and off you go so in my case I do the same thing so in here you might want to do the old way I think most of you will do the old way to render this kind of thing you will uh, give a uh, AI standard material change it to like for example like bark I have a bark and then you would plug in the uh, texture coming from uh, here I show you the texture that I already exported from these are all the texture that I exported that I exported along the way from speed tree this is the speed tree file I exported as, as FBX and also a lambic file and this is the texture that come along you see brand 03 it, uh, this texture come corresponding to the geometry tie that uh, you really see this is the normal map this is the default uh, speed tree I don't tweak anything at all I just load them in okay so just like I said most of you would do the old way just like uh, okay for example this is a bark you load in the bark texture you load in the bark spatula and you load in the bark bump map that's it and also in this case you have uh, like uh, brand 03 brand 03 using the cutout map you can see here you will uh, do it this way let's see we are grabbing a brand 03 there most of you would okay apply that see and let okay now I select select it yeah this is easier to see yeah this is the way you do it in the old way 
and then you go up to the diffuse some people would go up to 1 I would love only 0.8 and then you click on that you go to file you go to off and then you go to good three texture it brand 0 3 uh, color if you look here Y and six, uh, you see the color, right? Okay, this is the color, and then you would come down to kind of specular if it has specular. You just go in file uh, brand zero three. Look like it doesn't have specular. Just alpha and normal map. Alpha is the cutout map, so I delete that. Uh, put this to wipe and then you come out to the refraction you come down to the opacity map the opacity map is the cutout map okay you go in go to alpha just take a look see it's gone you see it's so it's so UD alpha let me uh, okay here let me press number seven okay number six see it show you that looks cool and then there is one more which is the texture you would do just like I said go to tangent space normal or object space normal if you want to I believe the tangent space normal okay yeah so that is the old way that you used to do and then you plug all the way through with all the other file and then you would do a render trust me my friend analog solid angle does not recommend you to do this old way if you do that your particular scene no matter even though you try to set this low it will go absolutely I mean your rendering time will be so long uh, plus this case that I have all this shoes bound and everything it will take a very long time but the fastest way is that you do it that way do it that old way but first when the old way is already done select any geometry or you can use the AI standard AI standard the new one and then you come up to the specular channel the same you middle mouse drag and drop the color in so you can say this is back one or you can say back color this one you say bar no color no color oops sorry no spec I'm sorry about that man and then you come down to the specular you turn everything off cool so and I'll recommend you to use AI ray switch this is the only way that can make the transparency map or the cutout map faster even though you are trying to use that with uh, ambient occlusion it's also even faster so I change this to ray switch bark okay so now uh, the ray switch has a lot of things what should we do with it okay this is the new shader which doesn't have any specularity and this is a shader that already have the spectra, the cutout map, the bump map, the normal map that we usually do the old way so just middle mount drag the old shader the old way shader onto the camera onto the shadow onto the reflection onto the refraction for the diffuse and glossy just use the new one okay and then select these three go to input and output connection you will see the old way the old shader I mean the old way of using the shader has the new uh, shading group so select that go to the shading group mid amount drag this okay now it look kinda stupid but when you render it will be faster it's not a whole lot faster if uh, the original way that you do would take you around 10 minutes the new one might take you around 5, 6 or 7 minutes uh, a few seconds is also count buddy if you are rendering a large file and a lot of render frame 
so it takes forever to render it's like an interest rate on stock market as well so for my scene I have a tons of uh, I have a tons of geometry and it's very heavy for my scene and if you look closely if I zoom out you see how many trees do I have this is my scene I zoom out all the way through I have at least 20 okay let 25 million polygon in here so it equal to I think 2 million or 25 million 25 million yeah it equal to zebras data I mean more than zebras data so if uh, you render this this is going to crunch all the polygon and the ray trace and everything however after I figure out how to do it that way this is what I get and each frame I export all of the data into as file and then when I kick it each frame uh, at full HD resolution uh, take me only around 20 minutes on the 8 core machine uh, 8, 20 minutes is fine for me because uh, originally when I did the old way render it took more than one hour and nearly two hours just for one frame I thought that's it man okay and now this is the way that I have already found I export everything into the EXR file and it, this is just a rough uh, composition new I have not uh, messed around with anything yet because if you look at this car this car has a lot of uh, each of them has a corresponding uh, you see the right diffuse diffuse and everything yeah it has other stuff that are available I can do a resource for notes to you see also this tree also has some kind of the uh, diffuse spec diffuse that you set up the AOV in, uh, in uh, Maya so I hope you all uh, will be able to test rendering speed tree or other tree from tree software and please give me any feedback if you want further information or you need some kind of like um, request or anything okay goodbye